This is John Vandenbroek on behalf of Expert Village. Today we're going to talk about advanced encaustic painting. Working with Kleenex really opens up a lot of different possibilities. This painting, uh, Manhattan Nights, I, I started working with something that I really liked. I took uh, a lot of Kleenex like this and after I put wax on the card, I heated the card from the top on top of the Kleenex until it soaked into the wax, added some more colors, but then I started working with some paints and some of these are, are like a mica paint that after I had the wax on there, I still have left enough tooth on the Kleenex that it was exposed so that the paint would, would pick it up. So then now I can have a combination of wax and some of that iridescent paint, which created really an interesting image. Uh, in this section up here, where I had these circles, I, I just took the iron and I took the wax, and while it was hot, I just drew circles on here with the, with the wax and then stamped those patterns. I also have found that I like this material and in some places I will put little sections and melt it into the wax because it creates a really interesting image. So these textures are really fun to work with. Another way to work with Kleenex is to actually tear the Kleenex into shapes, stick it into the wax and it becomes part of the painting. Another way is to take after you've drawn a little picture to lay Kleenex down, work from the top of the Kleenex with your stylus and paint a tree on the Kleenex that goes through, sticks onto the background, and then you rub off the rest of the Kleenex around and you get a three-dimensional tree. Or you can actually create all of the landscape in a little picture with Kleenex to get a whole different textural effect. And you'll notice that once you get the Kleenex down, metallic waxes love to grab onto the Kleenex, creating really nice effects.